Well, welcome. It's May 15th. It's a Friday and uh, a warm day. A little overcast right now. It's good to welcome you. Glad you are here uh, with me today. So good to see you and uh, check in with one another as we come on board here. Looks like we're getting some of the usual suspects we're logging in. Glad you're here. So uh, come on and join us. Um, make sure you invite friends to join us um, or to watch the uh, recorded video, especially if the word of the day is of particular meaning to you. And uh, let's do that. Check in. Let, let us know how you're doing. Is everybody well? Are you doing okay? Nice to see you. Well, let's get started. And uh, here we are today. It is time for, of course, a word from the Bible. Okay, and today's word is temple. Maybe you didn't expect that. Um, didn't expect the word temple to be what we're talking about today. But it's an interesting word and uh, filled with a lot of meaning. And uh, it is one of those key biblical words that if you understand what we mean by temple, you will understand a lot of passages in the Bible that otherwise might seem a little confusing. So off we go with temple. Uh, let's sing uh, with me, if you would, uh, this Bible school song, and uh, maybe you'll recognize it. Welcome summer here today. <laughs> nice to have you with us here today. Glad to see everybody. And uh, we're talking about the word temple today. The temple, it's most helpful for us to think about the temple not as a building, but rather as God's presence, sort of a, a symbol of God's presence or a sign that God is with us. Like the song just said, God is for me. Who can be against me? God is with me always. 
And so when we think of temple, we begin at the beginning where God is fully present, creating and living with Adam and Eve there in the garden. And we think of God's presence as being very significant. And this is the root of the idea of the temple. The whole creation is God's temple. It's the place where God dwells. And that's the way it was in Genesis chapter 2. But humans broke the relationship and they are separated from God's presence, separated from that sense of temple or God's being with them. And then we look and see that God doesn't abandon the people, but rather chooses to be present in a whole new way, again, through people, Israel. God is with them, is um, sort of, I think of it as like a, a temples them. Uh, as humans, we seem to need something to remind us that God is always with us. Don't we need that? I think we do from time to time need something just to remind us. So Israel did something. Israel built the tabernacle to remind them that God is always with them wherever they went. And they carried this tent around in the wilderness, the tabernacle, as a sign and symbol of God's presence. And then um, when the people finally made it to the promised land, they built the temple in Jerusalem, the place where they believed God dwelt, there in the Holy of Holies. And once again, humans forgot the truth that God is with us everywhere. They talked more about a building than they did about God's loving presence in us. Again and again, the relationship with God gets broken by humans. The temple became a building and uh, it just became an issue. So the temple, that is God's presence, fills all creation just like back in Genesis, but time and again, Israel forgot, we forget. And God sends prophets to remind the people that God dwells in all creation, not just in some certain locations. And yet, they forgot. Well, uh, I think it's helpful to tie this back to the beginning. That God intends to make a new creation just like a God created things in the beginning. This new creation will be filled with God's presence, will be filled with the temple, just like it was in the beginning, just like the prophets promised that God would be with the people. So there's Jesus, who is, in fact, God with us. Jesus is the new temple. Jesus' name, Emmanuel, means God is with us. So Jesus comes to reestablish the glory of creation with God. So we don't need a building to know that God is with us. We don't need a building over at uh, the corner of Church Street and Old Turnpike Road in Oldwick. We don't need a building to know that God is with us to remind us of that. We know that God's temple and God's presence is with us always, 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 always. So what do you think about that? That's kind of a cool idea that we think about the idea of temple. And um, God's presence is with us, with all creation. So, um, Jesus, the new temple, God with us, God's presence comes to us in the word. The church is the temple of God, not the building, but the church, the people of God, the gathered assembly of God's people, just like it was in the beginning. God is with Adam and Eve, God is with Israel, and now God is with us, the church. The church, the gathering of God's people, is the temple, is the place where God dwells. See, it comes full circle. God with us works hand in hand through us and through all of the creation. Uh, I just think that's pretty cool. So I've got a song that uh, probably you've never sung before, but it's uh, you'll recognize the tune, and um, I'd like to sing that together with you. In his temple now, behold him, see the long-expected Lord. Ancient prophets had behold him, God has sent the promised word. 
now to praise him, his redeemer shall break forth in one accord. Did you recognize the tune? Uh, yeah, let's sing the second verse. For him, virgin pure, behold him lie, while his aged saints adore him, and in perfect faith they die. Alleluia, alleluia, all the incarnate God most high. Have you got that tune yet? And now it speaks of Jesus. Jesus, by your presentation, when they blessed you, we can be your great salvation. Seal us with your promise, sure, and present us in your glory. Through your Father, cleansed and pure. And the final verse. Prince and author of salvation, be your boundless love, our King. You be given by the world you did redeem with the Father and the Spirit, God of majesty and supreme. I got my words mixed up there toward the end. <laughs> oh, well, that's all right. Uh, I thank you for um, your thinking with me about the temple today and thinking about how God is present with us in all things, in all that we do. In his temple, now behold him. All right, let's have a prayer together. Lord of all, we give thanks for your presence among us, for being with Adam and Eve, being with Abraham and Sarah and all of Israel, being with and speaking through the prophets, and especially for being with us through your Son, Christ. You are God with us. We give you thanks for these things, and amid the difficulties of life, help us to not be fearful, but to trust in that presence, to go to your holy temple, wherever that is physically. Help us to go into your temple and bask in your grace to uh, reveal to us all the beauty that there is in creation and how you are present in every, every inch of the, the world and creation. Calm our anxiousness. Encourage us now with your presence. Be with those who tend to those who, uh, with COVID-19. Be with all of us and bring your presence to those who are fighting this virus. Guide us into your ways. Settle us in your truth and your love, and help us to uh, remember your presence among us. At the last now, O Lord, teach us to pray as you have taught. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, focus on the positive. Focus on what it is that you can control. Focus on what you can do. And enjoy God's presence this day and receive the benediction the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Indeed, Kathy, you're right. Angels from the realms of glory in his temple now behold him. See the long expected Lord. Great. Uh, well, it's good to be with you today and blessings to you. And go about your day and glory in God's presence. God is with you every moment, every day. Peace be with you.